So when we're studying biomechanics, there's two basic terms we need to understand, kinematics and kinetics. Kinematics is defined as the description of motion. So if we had to describe a motion, we basically need to know three things about that motion. We need to know how far it went or the distance it went, how fast it went or its speed or velocity, and then how quickly it sped up or slowed down in that motion or its acceleration. If we understand the velocity, displacement, and acceleration of the object, we know everything about the kinematics of that object. Traditionally, golf has been taught kinematically, so we would watch the motion of a golfer. We would use either our iPhone or just our eye or now complex 3D motion capture system to watch the motions of the golfer and try to make them more efficient. What we don't understand when we're watching kinematics is that we don't know the forces going into producing that motion or the kinetics. So kinetics are the study of the forces that cause or result from these motions. And previously, the golf teacher had no way of visualizing these forces going into creating these motions, so they couldn't use them to help the golfer. Now with Swing Catalyst, we can visualize these forces, and we can use them to help make the golfers better. So remember, we need to understand those two basic terms, kinematics and kinetics. If we talk about kinematics, we need to talk about three basic things. How far the object went, or its distance or displacement, how fast it went, so its speed or velocity, and then how quickly it sped up or slowed down, which is its acceleration. So remember how far, how fast, and how quickly it sped up or slowed down are all the things you need to know about an object in terms of understanding its kinematics. Kinetic measures, on the other hand, are the ones that can't be seen with your eyes. 